To use your document camera and your ViewSonic together, you have two options. If you have your document camera USB connected to either your laptop or to your desktop, you can continue using it as you have in the past using easy interactive tools. This is the Epson uh, document camera software we've used in the past. You would be able to open Easy Interactive Tools that's in the Software Center if you cannot find it on your computer. And under Other Tools, you have a camera feature and you can select that you are wanting to use your document camera. You can see that activated mine. When you have your document camera pulled up, if you are wanting to use this on your ViewSonic, you are just going to have to make sure that you've pulled up your vcast and you are projecting from there either on your your laptop or your desktop you can send that message to your viewsonic board the other option is to use your whiteboard app there is a document camera option within your magic box if you are logged in for your whiteboard software, you can have your, once again, your document camera can be plugged in on your desktop or your laptop with this, and you collect, can select magic box. And there's a camera option right here. You can select which one you'd like to use, and it will pull up your document camera within. You can then change your size, move it to a different location. You can also have it on your screen uh, and have something else up as well at the same time. And because this is using the My Whiteboard and it's just a USB connection, you can even connect your document camera directly to the USB ports on the right side of your ViewSonic board. Keep it connected to your ViewSonic board at all times and you will not need to worry about using VCast to connect. You would just open Whiteboard and open your magic box. And again, go to your camera setting, and it would be available for you if you were using Whiteboard on your ViewSonic board instead of using it through your desktop or laptop.